Hey guys, it's Mason Wesley, and this is a craft supply update. Um, so I got a ton of stuff to show you. I'll try to mention where I got everything so you guys can get it too, but if I don't, you can just comment below and ask. So first, I got all this glitter. It's really fine. I got it white, silver, and black, and then I got pink. There was a red one here, but I already pulled it off to use it. Pink, kind of a pinkish color, purple, blue, and then I got dark blue, um, light blue, lighter blue, kind of a aqua blue. I had a dark green right here, but again, as you can see, it ripped off because I'm using it. I'll actually be showing you in my video what I use that dark green for. And this one had two other golds, but I already ripped them off for the same project that went with the dark green. Gold, brown, brown, and that's like a... It looks black, but it's dark, dark brown. And I got these at my Dollar Tree. And they're super, super fine. And they come in packs about this big. So, yeah. Next, I got... um silicone for deco denning. I found the wonder of sil um, silicone. It's totally awesome. I just use this one from Walmart. Um, I'm not sure exactly what kind you're supposed to get, but this one seems to work. So, <laughs> yeah. So next, I got these... Um, Neon Starburst paper. Um, these are supposed to be for like garage sale and stuff, but I like to use things for things they're not supposed to be for. I really like the bright colors on them, like neon. And I got these at my Dollar Tree, as well as the glitter. Um, I also got these plastic party spoons for melting to make flowers. I'll show you in a different video what you can make with them. Here's one close up. And I got these at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, hey, let's get over here a little. Okay, so next I got these puffy paints. I got silver glitter, gold glitter, and crystal glitter. And I got all of these for like, I think like two bucks at Walmart. Usually they're a dollar each, so yeah. Next, I got these totally awesome Sharpie oil paint markers. If you were going to paint on something glass, I would definitely suggest these. They come out really smooth and really bold color. I really, 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 really like them. Um, I think I got these at Joanne, by the way. So next, I got this modeling clay for my Dollar Tree. I would not suggest taking getting this if um, you are going to try to make a modeling clay piece that you're wanting to harden. Um, this does not harden, but it's really, really good for mixing colors. It's like extremely soft. I'll pull out a piece for you. Sorry. There we go. So as you can see, it's like extremely, extremely soft. So yeah. So I'm going to show you next what I was working on um, with the gold and dark green glitter. I've been working on this Wizard of Oz Deco Den box. It's not finished. I haven't done the sides or the inside. But um, so the box itself I got at the Dollar Tree. And I would really, really suggest it. The magnet inside is strong. I just can't open it up because I only have one hand. But it's extremely, extremely strong. I wish I could open it up for you right now. But this, I literally just did. So, it's still drying. So, yeah. Next, I got this plastic container at the Dollar Tree. It's really big. I'll be using this for my clay creations. Um, I got 
two packs of googly eyes to make more minions for my soon-to-be Etsy shop. I got 300 in this one and 80 in these smaller ones. Um, let's see. I got these two different kind of mini glue sticks for my hot glue gun because I have a mini hot glue gun. This one's from the dollar store and this one is from Walmart. If you are going to get either one of these, the dollar store ones, they kind of yellow. As you can see, it says non-yellowing right there. The, as this one doesn't say, so it does yellow a little bit. So this is good for when like you're making something in something. This one's better if you were making it on the outside. Of something. Next, I got this really cool glass container for deco denning. That's hard to pull that hand. Here, one second. Ah, there we go. As you can see, it opens up. And again, I got this at the Dollar Tree, and it works really well. So next, I got this modeling clay easy shape in 20 colors, and I got ugh, how'd that get in there? And I got this easy shape 52 pieces. Now I just wanted to tell you guys a lot of my clay stuff is from this easy shape. It does harden after time. If you let it dry out, it will. It says non-hardening, reusable. It is not reusable, but it will dry. You just got to leave it somewhere dark because if it's in the sun, it will melt. I found that out the hard way. And it will harden. Like that mini I made, you could throw it against the wall, and it would not break. So excuse the non-hardening section right there. It does harden. So I really suggest this kind of clay. So next I got this scrapbooking thing on clearance for like three bucks. It has these poppy stickers. This is my heart. Spectacular. Perfect. Happily. And a whole bunch of other stuff. Sorry for my finger. And yeah. So. Uh, I have like two more things, or a couple more things to show you. So, I got this durable wax paper from the Dollar Tree. Um, they actually charged me for two of them, even though I got one. And eh, it was only a buck. But, um, it works well. I don't know what to say about it. It's wax paper. <laughs> so, yeah. So, last but not least, I got this glow-in-the-dark Sculpty Clay. It comes in lots of colors, blue, orange, light green, black, and that's kind of a tannish color, and a white. And I got this Sculpty Bacon Bend, and it has um, red, black, blue, yellow, white, and green. Um, these colors actually do glow in the dark. And lastly, I got um, this Sculpty Crafty Clay, and it comes with lots of colors, two tools. I already took one out, though. Yeah, but um, I'm really excited. I haven't ever really used baking clay, so I'm kind of nervous about it because I'm, yeah. You know, so, okay. So, I'll let you stare at this while I talk because it's kind of boring. So, um, I've decided that I'm going to start doing um, reviews on people's clay creations, resin pieces, or whatever. I think it'd be really fun to do. Um, so, I'm going to name a couple of rules. First off, you have to be 18 or older or have parent permission. Um, I will not be able to send back your creations because I do not have a lot of money at all. Um, uh, let's see. 
you can, I can ship it back if you put money for shipping in the box with all the different stuff. Sorry for the background noise. Um, I will be kind but stern on the reviews. I won't just be like a kiss up, but I won't be really mean either. Um, if you want me to review your creations, please PM me. Um, uh, I think that's about it. And I will be using a P.O. box because I don't want my address all over the internet. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, so, please be watching for, for when I open my Etsy store. I'll be selling things like this. And thanks for watching. This is Mason Wesley. And, yeah, have a nice week. Thanks, guys. Bye.